Ministries. I am Pastor Mike Baker, and I greet you in the name of the Lord. God is worthy to be praised. He is so good. He is so great. Uh, we come together today to lift up the name of Jesus. He is worthy of praise. Our address is 1001 Oversee Industrial Boulevard in Suffolk, Virginia, and we are coming to bless his name. He is worthy of all the praise. He is worthy of all the glory. If it wasn't for God on our side, where would we be on today? We lift him up to where he belongs. He is high and lifted up, and his train is filling the temple on today. I know a lot of people may not be in the house of the Lord today, but they need to have the house of the Lord on the inside of them worshiping and praising God, lifting him up and giving him praise for another day's journey, giving food on your table and giving you the activity of your limbs and even allowing you to speak and see your loved ones. Today we give him praise. Today we give him honor. He is worthy of all the praise on today. As we prepare our hearts and Prepare our minds. We just want to lift him up to where he belongs. We are going to lift him up in song today. We are going to lift him up in prayer today. We are going to lift him up in word today because he needs to be lifted up. Isn't that right? Yeah. He rose on the third day morning for you and me. And for that cause, I give him praise. I have the right. I have the right. I have the right to praise the Lord on today. We ask that you bring in your wandering minds and prepare your hearts right now for prayer. Dear Lord, as we come this morning, Lord God, with outstretched arms and hands today, Lord God, we give you praise, Lord God, for waking us up and starting us on our way, Lord God. For that cause, we say thank you one more time. You didn't have to do it, but you did, Lord God. You gave us, Lord God, food on our table, roofs over our heads, Lord God, yes, we may be challenged, Lord God, but we serve a God that's able to do anything but fail. For that cause, Lord God, we elevate our hands. Somebody might want to clap their hands. Somebody want to pat their feet. But Lord God, today, Lord God, we give you praise. We thank you, Lord God, for forgiving us of our sins of omission as well as our sins of commission on today. Lord God, reach out, Lord God, today and touch somebody's mind and touch somebody's heart, Lord God. Let them know today that they've been touched by the hand of the Lord. Lord God, we love you today. We ask, Lord God, that you will reach and touch every community. Lord God, look upon everyone, Lord God, they may be down in their mind, Lord God, or even in their heart. Pick them up today. Lord God, we ask that you look upon, Lord God, every, Lord God, hospital, Lord God, and every church and all the leadership and everyone that's working in all the capacities today. We ask that you would touch them and bless them and encourage their hearts during days and times such as these. Lord God, we ask these meek and humble blessings and nor the name of the Father, nor the name of the Son, nor the name of the Blessed Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Do we bring your thanks because we love you? Amen and amen. Jesus, we came to give God praise today. Yes. Hallelujah. We came to bless you, oh God. Yes, we did. We came to bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah, Lord. hallelujah. Even in your homes, lift your hands and give God yes, praise. Yes, Lord. Because he's a worthy God. Yes, yes he, he is. is. Yes, he hallelujah, is. Hallelujah, Jesus. No matter what you're going through. God is still worthy today. Yes. And we came to bless his name. So why don't you just stand to your feet even in your homes and come bless the Lord with us. Hallelujah, Jesus. We came to give you 
praise yes, God. Yes, we did, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Jesus.
today in worship and in song and in praise. Yes, Lord. At this time, let us prepare Thank to you. go to the Word of God. Our scripture this morning is coming from the ninth chapter of Matthew, starting at the 20th verse. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about and when he saw her he said daughter be of good comfort thy faith have made thee whole yes. and the woman was made whole from that hour I will stop right there at the 22nd verse today our text is get in touch with him. Some sick people say, oh, I see you got the H-E-M and the H-I-M. -I 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 -I. <laughs> Please don't confuse. I'm not going to confuse you today. But today, we're going to find out more about him. Oh, yeah. There comes a time in your life when you have to put up or shut up. Desperate times require desperate measures. Yes. I must decide whether I'm going to stay in the state that I'm in Thank you, or I'm going to change or start new. Mm -hmm. People can tell you all day long you need to do this or that. But until you come to the conclusion or you hit rock bottom or you get to a certain point in life, it's nothing but talk. It has to be your idea. Talk is cheap. The old folks say talk is cheap. It takes money to buy land. Mm -hmm. it takes money to buy land. Yeah. People say, that, I, I, I wonder, you know, what was going on? What was going on? See, see, you know, people have to realize, you know, in days and times like those, with, when the lady had the issue of blood, she was in a state where she was, really in a, a bad spot because of Levitical law, she had a, a problem. I mean, she was hemorrhaging. She was bleeding. She had been going through this process over 12 years, but something in her mind um, triggered and said, I'm, I'm tired of this. I, I have to get out of this. And, and someone might ask, why in the world would somebody go to this extreme to get in contact or try to get a healing, but if you've been going through anything any amount of time and it gets to a point where you just get sick and tired of being sick and tired of certain things. Yes. She had gone through doctors and doctors and even in the book of Luke who was a physician, he said she had no hope. Mm -hmm. And he was a doctor. Sometimes we have to get to the source, the one that is the creator. And, and during these times, See, this is what you have to understand, and I'm going to get you to where you need to be. This is what you have to understand. During these times, they believed, the Jewish culture believed that because of what was written in the book of Deuteronomy and Numbers, the hem of the garment of the priest, which had four tassels that were given instruction, that was instructed by God to put on the, 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 the robe of the priest, and those um, um, tassels or those wings or, or those um, tassets that hung from the bottom of the robe represented the authority and the power of God. Uh, they believed if they would touch or come in contact with the priest who was wearing this because of what they believed. They believed that one day, even in the book of Malachi, you will read that they believed that, they believed that the son or the Messiah was coming in his righteousness and he was going to have healing in his wings. Uh, the wings also represent the section of 
the robe, which is the talcet that we were talking about. And, and this brings you up to this point. Uh, we, we, we have to ensure that we hear right. She heard that Jesus the Christ was coming by. Um, during this time, he was starting. He was in the midst of his ministry, and she heard that he was going through healing all sickness and matters of disease. She, she had heard that he was bringing salvation. He was bringing deliverance. He was bringing whatever she stood in the need of. And sometimes you've been hearing things for years, and but it, it, it goes in one ear and out the other. It, and it may not happen the first year that you were going through something. It may not happen the second year. It may not happen the third year. But as your problems, as your situations going in life, sometimes you get to a point where I'm sick and tired. And I've heard a long time ago that there's somebody that's coming through that can give me some help and I believe that help can come from the Lord uh, I believe that if we believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God and he has all power in his hands and, and if what is connected to him is connected to his father it has the exousia it has the dunamis power it has power and authority and that power and authority is connected to even what he wears yes. I believe if I just touch him and get to where he's at I can be changed you don't realize she went through a, a struggle because the Levitical law said if you get caught in the menstrual period and you are out and about, you could be stoned. But she was willing to push through whatever was going on to get to Jesus. And, and, and sometimes even with our situations in life, sometimes we have to get past embarrassment. We have to get past Pride. We have to get past the things that's been holding us back and make up in our minds that I want to change in my life. And sometimes I got to do whatever it takes to get in touch with him. Uh, the him that I'm talking about right now is the H. I am him, and the Jesus Christ, uh, the son of the living God, him, uh, and I'm going to press toward that mark, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to get in his presence. Uh, I want to touch the hem of his garment spiritually, just like she touched the hem of his garment naturally. Yes. Somebody said, how did this really look? These are the tassels that were on the hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. Four tassels, and each one of the tassels has a band, bind of blue on each tassels that the Jewish culture knew represented the commandments of God mm -hmm. and his authority. That's something we have to realize and understand that his tassels really meant something and as he was passing by I can imagine I don't know how tall Jesus was but his tassels were low to the ground so evidently she had to be mighty low to the ground imagine if you're at ground level and you need a little help sometimes you got to get a little low and she was able to go a little low and she reached up and she touched the hem of his garment. She touched the tassels that represented the authority and the power of God and, and the commandments. And she knew that the Messiah was coming with all power and all deliverance in his hands. And if I just touch the hem of his garment, I can be made whole. You know, she didn't even have to say anything. She didn't have to say, heal me, Jesus. She just touched the hem of his garment and the power and the virtue came out of him and he yeah. said who touched me and oh he realized uh, that something happened and from yeah. that moment oh what was going on with her and her was dried up yes same thing can happen with us yeah. we can allow the things that's been holding us back uh, we can't allow them to get in our way so I have to believe when I get in his presence, uh, I can bring to him the uh, coronavirus if that's on my mind. I can bring my health issues uh, to the hem of his garment that may be on my mind. I can bring those bills, uh, that man, that woman, those issues, those children, uh, those drugs, that alcohol, unforgiveness, lust, whatever it is. Uh, and I can touch 
the hem of his garment. I can touch him and those things will fall off if I bring them to my master on today. I can't hold on to it. I got to bring it on to him. And if I bring it on to him, change will happen. He will become my Jehovah Rapha if I need a healing. He will be my deliverer if I need to be delivered. He will be my salvation if I need salvation. Whatever I need, whatever I need, change will happen. Change will happen. It didn't happen the next day, but it happened in the same hour. Immediately. That means like right now. Change can happen in your life. If I want to drop what I'm going through and I'm dealing with, I don't like being uh, an alcoholic no more. I don't like lusting anymore. I don't like them drugs anymore. I don't like being unforgiving and hating. I'm going to give it all to the master. And because of that, change will happen. Whatever goes on in your life, it can happen. But what I love about this whole story, a couple chapters later, because of her change, she was so contagious that evidently she told somebody else. And then Mark, the sixth chapter, it said, whenever he entered villages or cities or countryside, they were laying the sick in the marketplaces and employing him that they might just touch the fringe of his cloak. And as many touch, they were saved, they, they were delivered, they were healed. So it didn't just happen one time. It didn't just happen two times. It happened over and over again. There's power in him. And if we come into contact with our Savior on today, change will happen. I must get or touch him. I must touch him. This is a must. This is not a, a maybe, but I must touch him. Let us, no matter what's going on in our lives, allow ourselves to release whatever, may be, whatever it may be holding us down and allow Jesus Christ, yes, the Son of the living God, who can do anything but fail, yes, change our lives yes. on today. I must, I must get in touch with him. We thank God for his word on today. We give him praise. Yes. We give him honor. Yes. We thank God for what he's doing in our lives. And if you are going through a point in your life, the doors of the church are open. We are opening up for prayer and opening up the doors of the church. If there's something in your life that's not pleasing God and you know it, it's time to bring it wherever Jesus is and give it to him. He will change your life. Uh, Romans 10 and 9 lets us know. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Let us pray. Yes. Dear God, whatever is going on in my life, I pray, Lord God, that you, Lord God, would come in the midst, Lord God, and touch my mind and give me that moment of clarity, Lord God, that I can, Lord God, acknowledge, believe, and confess, Lord God. I believe that you are the Son of God, Lord God, and you were raised on the third day morning with all power in your hand. Lord God, forgive me of my sins. I'm sorry, Lord. And Lord God, I believe, Lord God, and if I say that and believe that, Lord God, I am saved right now, Lord God. Touch me. Keep me. God, and direct me. This is my prayer today. We love you, Lord God. You are saved. You just keep going into his word and stay in a Bible believing church and go to your Bible studies and allow God to be in your life. Allow a great person, a man or woman of God to mentor you and guide you during these times. We thank God for each and every one of you at this time. I'd like to thank you and you and you for 
being supporters of this ministry. We thank God for all of the cheerful givers because we are still feeding the homeless and helping our fellow man. And we pray that you will continually look at um, our list of, of ways to give and you will give through our cash app or you will give um, through our, our give, uh, Givelify and God will truly bless you for seating in this ministry because lives are being changed. Minds are being resurrected and people are learning how to get in touch with him. Let us at this time pray for our offering pray for our tithes pray for your giving in the book of Malachi in the third chapter it said will a man rob God and he said yes you have robbed me of your tithes and offering but if you would give if you would give I will take back and take you away from the devourer of the land Today, Lord God, we ask that you bless all the cheerful givers, Lord God. Lord God, bless the ones that want to give and didn't have, Lord God. Today, we honor you, Lord God, with our gifts and our sacrifice. Today, we give you honor. Today, we give you glory. Today, we magnify you, Lord God, for what you're doing, Lord God, in this ministry. Lord God, we ask, Lord God, these many, this, these offerings be you for the uplifting of your kingdom and the tearing down of the stronghold of Satan on today. We ask you to number of blessings and know the name of the Father, the Son, the Blessed Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Amen. God is worthy of all the praise. He is worthy of all the glory. He is worthy. He is worthy. With uplifted hands and hearts, the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide now and forevermore. Let every heart say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Say amen like you love the Lord. Amen. amen. God bless you. We love you, but God loves you more. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you.